This is the heavy rain test, but before we get into that, and I recommend not skipping this, let's first check out the waterproofing features of this two-person links because it'll make the rain test results easier to understand. There are a few things that I normally like to look out for inside the tent, like the seam taping, the length of your rainfly, and also for any buffed up feature inside the tent. Let's start with the seam taping and we'll check each of them out. So here are the rainfly seams and they're all taped. And now for the inside of the tent, here's one of the buffed up flooring to tent body seams and it's not taped. On top of this seam, we have the door seams and these are also not taped, but they happen to be inverted like so. Above that, we have the middle seams connecting the white to orange fabric and it's not taped or even inverted. This tent also has vertical seams running from the bottom to the top of the tent. These have been inverted but are not taped. Before I forget, here are the flooring seams and these have all been taped. There's a seam running down the length of the tent, plus all four corner seams, and I feel that these have been pretty thoroughly taped. The widths of this tent have this orange fabric to mesh seams, and these have not been taped or inverted. So basically, to sum this up, the only seams that are taped inside this tent are the floor seams. I think that might be because of the rainfly length. It's almost a full length rainfly except for the tiny gap at the bottom of the rainfly. So because the rainfly covers practically all of the tent body, most of the seams did not need to be taped. Will they leak though? Well, stick around to find out, and I guarantee that you will want to find out about this. And the last of the important waterproofing features is the buff tub flooring. Notice a slight difference between the buff tub height at the length and at the width of this tent. The lengths of this tent have a tub floor of about 6.5 inches. On the other hand, the widths of this tent have a tub floor of about 7 inches or so, which is very slightly taller. This is important, so take note of this. And now for the part that you've been waiting for, the heavy rain test. So this was my heavy rain test. It rained pretty heavily for about 2 hours or so, and it continued to rain lightly for about 4 hours after the heavy rain, so 6 hours in total. I think it was enough to put every single part of this two person links through a decent amount of rain, like so. In fact, it actually rained heavily enough that there was quite a bit of flooding in my yard and the entire right side of the tent was kind of sitting in water. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous about putting a budget-friendly tent through this much rainfall. So let's go check out the damage. Okay, the first thing that I see inside this tent is that there are two small puddles of water right in the middle. Where did this leaking come from? The vents which I left open in the heavy rain, I probably should not have done that, and I recommend shutting these in the heavy rain. I think the position of the vents can be improved, they should be facing a little more downwards instead, probably even vertically downwards and they would have leaked less. This was the most leaking inside the tent, but unfortunately that's not all I found. I also found that one of the corner seams was leaking a little bit from sitting in the flooding in my yard, so if you're expecting any flooding where you're camping, you might want to reinforce these seams a little bit. Luckily, there wasn't a whole ton of leaking despite hours of flooding, just a few drops of water, and this was the corner that was sitting in like an inch or two of water. The rest of the other three corner seams, despite being exposed to a lot of water as well, didn't leak at all, which is great. See this corner here? There was light flooding around this corner, but it didn't leak at all. So light flooding is okay, but heavier flooding like inches of water, not okay. Now again, that's not all I found. When I was checking the flooring for any leakage, I found that the pockets were completely wet, and they were so wet that they were leaking water into the tent. Why did this happen? Let me lift the rainfly up from the outside and I'll try to explain why. So this is what's under the rainfly. Take a look at the inner tent body. Notice that the entire bathtub flooring at the widths of the tent are completely wet. You can still see the raindrops on the tub floor. 
And look at this. Notice this seam at the very top of the top floor. As I mentioned right at the beginning of this video when I was checking the seam taping, this seam has not been taped. Notice how the water has seeped into this seam. Well, this is the seam that each of the pockets are attached to. So as the water seeped into this seam, it leaked into the pockets and then leaked into the tent. So ideally, this seam should be sealed from not just the inside, but the outside as well to prevent water from getting into the tent. As for the rest of the tent, like the flooring, the tent body fabric, the mesh, there was no leaking at all. So to be honest, because I really like the Alps brand, I have some of their other gear, and also because I heard good reviews of this tent from my friends and online as well, the results were a little bit disappointing I have to say. Definitely not what I expected. I think Alps Mountaineering had the right idea of making the top floor slightly higher at the width of the tent, but it honestly just wasn't high enough. It should have been at least 10 inches or so, much higher so that the water wouldn't get into the seams from all the backsplashing. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention after I got out the width of this tent, notice that the rainfly gap is actually pretty big. So again, I think the bathtub flooring could have been at least a few inches higher. So if you want to buy this tent and you expect a whole lot of rain, you're going to have to do a fair amount of seam sealing prep before actually using this tent. And if you want to know how this two-person links does in other tests, not just this rain test, check out this video on the screen here. Thank you for watching this rain test. You're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.